Hello, Haruma Kun channel. Haruma Kun's father, a former Japanese anime editor, would like to share his impressions of Indian films. The movie this time is Kahani. Please watch until the end. After watching this video, please subscribe to the channel and give it a high rating. I would be very happy if you could comment again. Kahani, an Indian film directed by Sujoy Ghosh, takes audiences on a captivating journey through the bustling streets of Kolkata. As a Japanese viewer, I found myself engrossed in the intricate plot and mesmerizing performances, which seamlessly blended mystery, suspense, and emotion. First and foremost, the film's protagonist, Vidya Bhakti, portrayed by the talented Vidya Balan, captivated me with her powerful performance. Balan's portrayal of a determined and strong-willed woman on a mission to find her missing husband was truly commendable. Her character's unwavering determination and resourcefulness resonated deeply with me, reminding me of the resilience often associated with Japanese heroines. The film's setting in Kolkata was an intriguing aspect that added depth to the narrative. Through the lens of the Japanese culture, the city's vibrancy, chaos, and diverse population became a character in itself. The portrayal of Kolkata's unique atmosphere and its impact on the storyline painted a vivid picture of the city's soul, which felt both foreign and familiar at the same time. The film's narrative structure kept me on the edge of my seat throughout. The plot unfolded with precision, unveiling unexpected twists and turns that constantly challenged my assumptions. The screenplay masterfully balanced moments of tension and quiet introspection, allowing the audience to connect emotionally with the characters and their motivations. This combination of suspense and emotional depth reminded me of some of the finest Japanese thrillers that have gained international acclaim. Additionally, the film's exploration of themes such as identity, loss, and deception resonated strongly with me as a Japanese viewer. The nuanced portrayal of Vidya's struggle to uncover the truth behind her husband's disappearance highlighted the complexities of human relationships and the lengths we go to protect our loved ones. This introspective aspect of the film brought a sense of depth and introspection, which is often seen in Japanese cinema. The film's cinematography and music also deserve recognition. The visuals captured the essence of Kolkata, showcasing its beauty and chaos in equal measure. The camera work brilliantly complemented the narrative, amplifying the tension and emotions portrayed on screen. Furthermore, the film's music evoked a range of emotions, enhancing the overall cinematic experience. One aspect that may have been challenging for me as a Japanese viewer was the language barrier. Although I appreciate the authenticity of the film's dialogue in Hindi and Bengali, it was difficult at times to fully grasp the nuances of certain scenes without relying heavily on subtitles. However, this linguistic barrier did not diminish my overall enjoyment of the film. In conclusion, Kahani is a remarkable Indian film that transcends cultural boundaries and resonates with audiences worldwide. As a Japanese viewer, I was captivated by its compelling narrative, strong performances, and exploration of universal themes. The film's portrayal of Kolkata, its intriguing characters, and its ability to create suspense and emotional depth all contributed to an unforgettable cinematic experience. Kahani is a testament to the power of storytelling and serves as a bridge between different cultures, reminding us of our shared humanity. This time, I picked up Kahani. How was it? If you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel and give it a high rating. In the Harumakun channel, I am distributing videos of my children, Harumakun and Momochan's daily life in Japan and Japanese game commentary. Please watch those videos as well. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next video.